Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I will be talking about some of the stock earnings that took place in the past 24 hours, discussing daily movements of um, major indexes including SPY, QQQ, the Dow, and the Russell. So let's begin. First talk about the major indexes and how they performed today. As we can see, S&P is clearly down 0.63% as well as the other major indexes with the uh, tech being down 0.95, the Dow being down 0.7, and the Russell 2000 being down about 1.48%. The reason for these major indexes to go down is one uh, major pullback from recent days, constant high uh, increases in prices, as well as uh, some bad news about coronavirus vaccines and uh, things of that sort. Now let's begin with some of the earnings that happened, uh, some of the drops and increase in prices for certain stocks. First, let's talk about Intel. Intel reported a pretty decent earnings today uh, with an estimated earnings of $1.10 with an actual $1.23. They beat in both uh, revenue and earnings but their future guidance suggests that their chips are going to be delayed by more than six months so intel is losing market share clearly to amd which caused amd shares to go up 16 percent and intel shares to go down 16 percent as we can see amd has been on a moon mission as of recently and is approaching 70 dollars May I remind you, this stock was only a penny stock, around $1.50 only five years ago, has increased over 3,700% over the past five years. Remarkable growth for a remarkable company. Next, let's talk about eHealth. It's one of those uh, online doctor visitation type of services, engages in provision of internet-based health insurance agencies for individuals and families. As you can see, they had a terrible earnings with a miss of around 66%, with the expected earnings of 21 cents and an actual EPS of 7 cents. Uh, eHealth was down 30% today, which was a major jump, but yet it is still up in the five year chart, as you can see, over 458%. The reason there's a sudden spike is due to the coronavirus, where people are afraid to go to physical, actual locations where doctors reside, but rather go through online services to avoid getting corona. So the problem with the stock and why I will not be buying the stock in any time future or if the price drops is that they are very overvalued. As you can see, they have a PE ratio of above 38, which is not that concerning, but their revenue was only 1.42 million for this quarter and have a market cap of over 2 billion which signifies very, very overvaluedness. Um, in a stock, I, I like to see the revenue um, around two to three times the actual stock price. So for example, Coke, their market cap is 200 billion. Their revenues for yearly are around 80 to 90 billion. That's something I like to see. And going back to Intel, Intel can be a good play for certain people with their P ratio uh, below a 12, which is actually below average with most S&P companies having a P.E. ratio between 18 and 25. But the problem is I don't see them growing in the future. They've been pretty pretty stagnant for the past year, and they are up 71% uh, in the past five years. But their other competitors like AMD, Micron Technology, has, have easily surpassed them, and it seems like their chip technology is getting old day by day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new from this, and have a great day.